In this video, we'll see how you can aggregate the rows of a data frame to calculate summary statistics. For example, suppose we have a data frame with two columns of floats, x and y, and we want to calculate the sum of each column. To aggregate it, we just need to call df.ag and then pass in the name of an aggregation function like sum in quotation marks, or we could pass in a function callable like np.sum. When you pass in a string like open quotes foo funk, pandas first looks for a data frame method called foo funk. If it can't find anything, then it looks for a numpy function called foo funk, and if it still can't find anything, it raises an error. If you define your own function named foo funk like this, you can use it with ag, but you have to pass it in as a callable, not as a string. All right, so when we did df.ag, open parens, open quote, sum, we got back a two element series with the sum of each column. If we want to get back the result as a data frame, we could wrap the aggregation function inside a list, like df.ag, open parens, list, open quote, sum. Using a list, we can aggregate the data using multiple functions. For example, to get the sum and mean of each column, we could say df.ag open parens list sum mean. Now, what if we wanted to calculate the sum and mean of column x and the min and max of column y? In this case, we can use a dictionary of column to list of functions pairs to tell pandas exactly what functions to apply to each column. In this case, we could say df.ag open parens dict x colon sum mean y colon min max. This might be obvious, but we should note that aggregation is intended to be used with a special class of functions that take in a series of values and reduces them down to a single value, or at least fewer values than the input. These could be things like sum, mean, min, or max. By contrast, transformation functions like sort, fill in A, and round take in a series of values and return another series the same length as the input. So you shouldn't use these functions to aggregate a data frame. Looking at the docs for dataframe.ag, you'll notice there's an axis argument. By default, it's set to zero. So when we do something like df.ag open parens min, pandas calculates the min value across axis zero. In other words, aggregating the rows of the data frame. If we wanted to, we could do df.ag open parens min axis equals one to aggregate the columns, calculating the min value in each row. Also notice the star args and star star quargs parameters. So if you define some custom function like nth underscore value that returns the nth value of a series, you could aggregate df picking out the third value in each column using df.ag open parens nth value comma n equals three. By the way, for simple functions like this, you'll often see people build them on the fly using lambda, like df.ag open parens func equals lambda x comma n colon x dot square brackets n comma n equals three. 